playing music for a long time and being in the industry for a long time and uh, I wanted to know since there is a lot of things going on in the world, in the industry, where do you see yourself in five years? And also, where do you see the rap industry in five years? Rap is an interesting genre. It is always a, a current reflection of the times. I think more so than any other genre, whatever we experience in the world is almost immediately transferred into rap music. So, they're synonymous. Wherever the world will be in five years, rap will be right behind it if not almost parallel with it, because art imitates life and life imitates art. Rap will always be right behind whatever is going on in the world. That's the beauty of the music. It's a music that is about now and current events. Being known as I'm a part of that culture, I will be at whatever front line there is. My message will, will cater to what the concerns of the world are. That's my responsibility as an artist. That's my, my passion as a musician, as a writer to always convey and display in the current times. So wherever the world is in five years, music will be and I'll be there as well. And how is it to play here uh, compared to uh, in your hometown, Washington DC? Is there a big difference? Honestly, people understand me at home. They understand every word. It's not enough to just speak English. There's a colloquialism, there's a history, there's a a phrasing that you may understand the words but not the, the, the hidden meaning underneath it. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing more joyful than every single word you say as a lyricist being felt, not only heard. Hearing is the easy part, feeling is the more complicated part. And the music being felt is truly something that is special. Uh, I will say, you know, audiences in Europe are more risk-taking. There are more people who come to a show who've never heard me before just to come to a show, mm -hmm. which will most of the times translate into new audience, new fans, which is something that I'm forever appreciative of. Um, at home, yeah, it's more of a feeling, and in Europe, it's more of a discovery. You could hear uh, during your concert, there was a lot of fans, people were shouting at you, and they knew you. Mm -hmm. so, uh, is that a lot in uh, Europe or uh, everywhere. Europe? Everywhere. everywhere? I mean, I sell more records in the United States than anywhere else, but I guess I wouldn't be here if I didn't have any fans. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Do you consider any uh, collaboration with someone from Europe? I'm always open to collaborations. I have no criteria for collaborations other than hoping that the end result is good music. Yeah. During your concert, you, thought, you talked about what happened in Louisiana not a long time ago. In Minnesota as well. Yeah, in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that too. Yeah. It's very terrible. I don't know if you want to say something yeah. about this or talk about it. I said what I needed to say. I expressed myself musically. Mm -hmm. uh, I was. In, in, I was very angry uh, on stage and art has always been a tool for me to release my feelings and I said what I had to say on stage, more importantly, that was the way to express myself. What, I would be wasting my breath if I said anything right now. What is going to change? You, know, you open a history book and nothing has changed. Nothing. So what am I supposed to believe? We judge people based on the history. You know, out of 10 times, if you do something nine times, people say this is what you do. Never mind if you don't do it one time. You did it nine times out of 10. So what is there to say? <laughs>